Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. I think I'm going to completely finish off the Seattle hub and take, take a flight to Mako Ballistics. So, let's get rolling. Last time we left off in Sophia Sachs' hangar, where we need to disable all of the security in order to actually liberate Sid Black's jet. Not that I even intend to use Sid as my pilot, but... I like to do everything. You know how it goes. Hey. Hello. I guess there's not really any need to crouch, is there? That's strange. All right, got one. She dropped an SMG. Awesome. Let's run up on another one. I should check that. Ah, uh, 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 dang. NG Resonance is an international pop star, popular with young and old alike. I should have scoped things out a little bit better. I don't even know how many guards there are, let alone where they're all positioned. So let me try again. Someone up here saw me last time. Wait a second. It'll pay enough to chase this stuff down. I know I'm here. Out cold. Just one minute. And then they found a body. A body. <laughs> There's the last one. She's got a sniper rifle. Excellent. You've done much to bring peace to this neglected part of the city. Maybe you can find Sid Black at the Grizzle Pit Bar to give you further news about his jet. All right. That one drop. Goal complete. Destroy sack. Goal complete. Pilot Sid liberate jet. Goal received. Pilot Sid notify. Tell Sid Black that his jet is no longer locked down. What? <clears throat> the biomodified Omar share a group consciousness, but each member was once an ordinary human. And there I thought I was actually doing pretty well. Alright. Where's that body? Let's pull it. Let's put it somewhere a little bit more out of the way than it already was. As for this one, let's wait until he turns around and sprint up there after him, get the job done. Pistol, ammo clip. There's a concussion grenade. Here's the security computer. We definitely want the camera off. I want the turret allied. Now it's that ain't right. The turret is now an ally. And the camera's off, but... The guards have spotted some bodies, so I need to be careful. I was gonna say, where did the guard even go? Maybe I should take vision enhancement instead of spy drone. I already have a great way to do EMP damage with electrostatic discharge, as long as I can close to melee range. There's another one down. Ammo clip and an SMG. Now I think 
At this juncture, there's only one guard left. There. Thank God. She's still alive. All right. Maybe you can find Sim back at the Grizzle Pit Bar to give him the good news about his jet. All right, much better. So that one dropped a sniper rifle, ammo, and a concussion grenade. I want the grenade. I'm not particularly thrilled about anything else. I do have a couple of bots down here. We got one. Gotta love electrostatic discharge. If I can just get over him somehow to check out what all's down here. There we go. Over, past, whatever. Got a med kit, don't need it. Another way up to the main hangar, which I'll check out in a minute. Another way down. We got a crowbar, a hundred credits, an EMP grenade. Back there is a toxic waste barrel, which I think I'll do well to just get rid of. Alright, with that cleared out, what do we find back here? An energy cell. Is that really all? That's disappointing. Alright. <clears throat> now let's check out the main floor of the hangar. It's mostly occupied by the actual jet, of course, but over here, there's a pilot beacon. Not sure what that did. Data cube. Maintenance receipt. Pilot beacon RK4 routine service. Inspection. Passed. Approved for all air traffic. Firmware upgrade. 1,250 credits. Cleaned dish mount. 30 credits. WTO Symmetriad. Six month license. 3,765 credits. Total. 5,045 credits. Oh, goody. Oh, I got an image. Pilot beacon. Yep, there it is. Pretty straightforward. It bothers me because I know I saw a multi-tool back here with the energy cell. I don't know where it would have flown to when the grenade went off. That's the problem. I guess I'm not really hurting for multi-tools either. I can leave it be. All right. What else do we have? A spider bomb. That's it for this level, I think. There's another security terminal here. Weapons storeroom turret one, allied. 
Weapon storeroom, turret two, allied. Beautiful. Oh, there's a ladder there. <coughs> Alarm switch, not really interested in that. I would have to burn two multi-tools to get in, or break the glass, or just use my destabilizer. Perfect. Initiating repairs. Repairs complete. Repair bots got me covered. So we've got sniper rifle, med kit, ammo clip, flamethrower. Have not seen one of those yet, so let's let's read up on it. Flamethrower causes heavy damage. Alternate fire mode blasts out a mass of napalm that will stick to the target surface and burn. I'll hold on to my gas grenade for now. Up here we've got an ammo scavenger mod. A pistol, an SMG. A bolt caster, another flamethrower. Two ammo clips, a sniper rifle. A shotgun, a shotgun. Fragmentary round weapon mod. And another pistol. Looks like that's it. We are ready to get out of here. So let's do that. That's it for the hangar. So we'll head back to Heron's Loft now. You can sneak past a camera by avoiding its field of view or using the thermal masking bio mod. Now before we leave here, let's go deal with Gobzilla. Gotta go down one level. <coughs> oh, Alex. I'll just stop by the Order Church to heal up. Well, or I'll just use some food. There's Gobzilla, just hanging out. Straight chillin', you might say. Let's destabilize the glass. Not like I have a whole lot of other uses for the ammo. Alright, I just knocked out Gobzilla. I don't think that I can actually get the reward from the other trainer for that. I'm not certain, but I'm pr pretty sure that's the case. I'll leave the cat cats alone. Not sure where this vent goes. I'll have to explore that in a bit. Anyway, over here, got a key to the Greasel Trainer's apartment and an ammo clip. In here, we got a book. Detective Dirk Murchison, The Jet City Murders. I knew she was trouble the moment she walked into my office. She was the kind of woman who never went to Lower Seattle without a pair of sentinels on a leash. Yet here she was on my doormat, rain-soaked, alone, and vulnerable. So why was I afraid? He was some WTO hotshot. That's how she started. He ruled the new Seattle society and had the SSC in his hip pocket. The only way she could find a detective brave enough to go after him was by heading down the inclinator into my office. Was it brave enough or stupid enough? Didn't matter to me. I would have done anything for a curve like her. That and the bill collectors had drained the last of my credits. She was afraid he was going to rub her out, try and lay his hands on her family fortune. He had a mistress somewhere on the platform above, and she was in on the plot. Then there was his bodyguard, Barry the Juice. After the last time I crossed him, I knew even a hollow male from him would try to strangle me. Getting involved in all this was a bad idea, but hell, bad ideas are my job. And we got a little bit of food and some beer over here. That seems to be it for the Greasel Trainer's apartment. Except I need to figure out where that vent goes. So let's do that right quick. <coughs> ah, it takes me underneath the elevator where I find two packs of cigarettes, a multi-tool that I can't put on my tool belt because it's stupid, and a flash bomb. Oh, 
All right, now we're done here, so let's go back to the Greasel Pit. Security turrets are normally dormant, but can be activated by alarms. You don't say. Alright, now a quick run back into the Greasel Pit. Scrambler weapons produce an electronic transmission that temporarily causes bots to attack their allies. No active weapons in the Greasel Pit. First I gotta transmit the safety lock codes to freeze anything you're carrying. Then I let you in. Otherwise, take a hike. Go ahead. Send the code. Thanks. There's sensors that will reactivate everything on your way out. You're clear to go in now. Same thing as before. So first things first, let's just talk to Sid. Took care of the people guarding your jet. You won't have any trouble taking it back. Cracking good work. Then I'll see you at the landing pad. You can pay me when you're ready to fly. Goal complete, pilot Sid notify. Goal complete, hire pilot. Goal received, pilot Sid meet at jet. Meet Sid Black at his jet at Heron's Loft landing pad. Expect to be deployed directly to the Mako facility from there. Depart only when your business in Seattle is done. Well, that pretty much tells you straight up. We won't be doing that. So let's head down to the pit itself. Keep your grubby mitts to yourself. Match 8. Back by popular request, Gobzilla. Today's unlucky challenger, Snake Eyes. Buy-in is the house minimum. Odds are 4 to 1 against the snake. Let me think about it. Well, hurry the hell up. This is the world championship about to go down. Let's go talk to Eddie, see what he says. Never seen Zilla fight? You're in for a treat. This'll be 23 in a row. Put your money on Zilla, buy yourself a villa. The championship match can get kind of mean. You don't want to watch if you have a weak stack. Gotta get my Ekagat in tune for the match. That's what the order Mean sons of bitches, that's for sure. See what Eddie has to say. I thought we had a deal. Then I see Godzilla coming down the chute. If you wanted more money, you should have said so. I knocked that Grizzel out cold. You sure you saw Godzilla? Knocked it out. I said kill. If a gob wants to sleep, the trainer just pumps its hide full of zyme. Sure I saw Zilla. You think I don't know my business? Damn. Sorry. Guess I blew it. Goal resolved. Greasel Trainer kill Gobzilla. So that one's gone. Now for the big time. Alright. I wonder if Snake Eyes can beat Gobzilla or not. Let's find Make out. A call. Who's about to be the next champ? Gobzilla's gonna eat that other gob for dinner. Playing it safe, huh? How much? Here you go. You're in the game, D. Now get in there and shake your pom-poms for Godzilla. She'll be coming out the south chute. Rip him shreds! That's more like it. Dang. Is Godzilla gonna lose? <laughs> That's gotta sting! Want to see some guts? Come on! Unbelievable! Godzilla lost. Tough luck, D. Pitt appreciates the business, though. Thanks. Tomorrow night, same time, same place. There's always new meat in the pit. Thirty-five wins, twenty-two titles. I guess that's not a bad legacy for a fighter like Zilla. Sure thought she had more years left in her, though. <laughs> Snake Eyes buried that bug-eyed prima donna, and it was a clean fight, too. Just another day at the pit. Alright, well, let's reload and bet on Snake Eyes. Hell, if Snake Eyes can win, we might as well... <clears throat> ...take the 4-1 to odds. What's up? Make a call. Who's about to be the next champ? Snake Eyes all the way. Right on. Going for the jackpot. How much? There you go. 
You're in the game, D. Now get in there and shake your pom-poms for Snake Eyes. He'll be coming out the North Chute. Rip him shreds! That's more like it! Want to see some guts? Come on! Dang, Snake Eyes whooping ass. Awesome. Guess you're looking to get paid. How much did I win? Let's see. Times four minus ten percent. Here you go. Thanks. Tomorrow night, same time, same place. There's always new meat in the pit. Credits increased by eighteen hundred. Excellent. Who'd have thought the cooked meat would be Godzilla? Wow, the end of an era. Later, dude. From here out, it's just cleaning up. From here out, it's All right. just... 35 wins, 22 titles. I guess that's not a bad legacy for a fighter like Zilla. Sure thought she had more years left in her, though. The championship's always nerve-wracking. Gotta get my Cheddar Seekers back aligned. There's 52 Cheddar Seekers, according to the Order Church. 52 aspects of the mind. That's a lot of knots to untangle. Looks like they're about to close up. See you next time. Looks like they're about to close up. See you next time. All right. Let's talk to Eddie now. <laughs> Snake Eyes buried that bug-eyed prima donna, and it was a clean fight, too. Just another day at the pit. Not a bad way to make a living compared to what's out there. Better clear out. The pit's about to close. Better clear out. Pit's about to close. All right. Mean sons of bitches, that's for sure. All right. We're now done at the Greasel Pit, I believe. Should never need to come back here. We aren't quite done at Heron's Loft. We'll need to hack the zoning database and then come back down there for a reward. I think I missed this data cube. Red Greasel's temperament analysis. Green Greasels are like pets compared to these red monsters. The greens are usually pretty controllable by an experienced trainer. There's no stopping the red Greasels, though. Their attacks are too effective. No feints and no play. One mistake and the trainer ends up dead. Yes, I'm upset. Leave me alone. You're ready to leave, just head out. The sensors will automatically react. All right. The WTO is led by Chad Dumier, the former leader of the Silhouette Revolutionaries in MJ-12 controlled Paris. Lower Seattle slums. Let's go deal with the coffee shop now. We got the key from the owner in Heron's Loft. We've read Coffee Science already. Food. Food, food. Huh. There's a vent up here. Must be another way in. <coughs> Let's find out for sure. Assuming Alex will go up there. There he goes. That a boy. Yeah, so we can get in from on top of the dumpster. Anyway, pretty simple for the Pequod's guy. We just need to chuck a grenade in here and split. Everybody panics when a grenade goes off. Uh, we completed the goal to destroy the beans, so... New, secondary goal, Coffee Wars, collect reward, Pequod's. Return to Pequod's Coffee Shop in Upper Seattle for a 300 credit reward for destroying the beans at Queequeg's. I suggest you manage your behavior wisely. Pretty straightforward. 
Let's head back into the Inclinator, where we will now have to deal with Captain Lamar and some Templars. Alright, let's start taking these guys down. Can already see a couple of them standing right here. Somebody lost. I should probably listen to that conversation before I take him down. Shared Omar consciousness facilitates the delivery of rewards and penalties for a customer's actions toward the group. Thinking you'll take the oath? Hmm. You are harder to see while crouched than while standing, whether you're crouching behind something or in plain sight. I can't seem to get the rest of this conversation to trigger. Uh, let's keep trying. Thinking you'll take the oath? Depends on if it gets me a raise. I mean, you down with being a knight? A knight Templar? running with a bunch of low-town scabs, I guess. The WTO's locking up all the jobs, all the technology, and they're turning it back on themselves. They're making a super race with genetics, implants, biomods, whatever it takes. They're just protecting their turf. Doesn't bother me. Well, I don't want to end up with some thief in a vat of salt water. All right. They're done talking. Now we'll we got to move on. Ah! I ain't afraid to- ah! Looks like we got a sniper rifle and a pistol. And another guy over here also toting a sniper rifle, so... Let's not stay there too long. Go drop this dude. You're me mad. I don't know why I keep crouching. Uh. He's got a sniper rifle. Doesn't look like anything else. Just keep eating food till it says my health is full. Alright, there's nothing else down here, so let's take the Inclinator up. There he is. Captain Lamar and the Templar Fugitive appear to be having some sort of conference in the office overlooking the platform. Find out what this is all about. Goal received, order trader, find evidence. Goal complete, order trader, find Lamar. Secondary goal, order, trader, find evidence. Order. Find find out what you can about Captain Lamar's betrayal of the Order Church. Eavesdrop on his meeting with the Templar commander in the office overlooking the Inclinator Bay. Then search the office for evidence. Alright, let's go bag these two Templars. They feel like talking anyway. Seems like they don't have a conversation. No way, man. I think they already got it with a barrel or a crate. Get down there and script some backup. Mr. Paladin didn't say nothing about splitting up. That ain't his name. It's a Templar title, like private. Now move your feeb ass. I ain't taking a bullet for no private. He ain't a private. That was just an example. 
He hired all of us, right? That makes you the private. Now march! That makes you a private, too. I'm a corporal, and I'm sending you to guard the ramp. And I'm sending you to guard the ramp. Or I'll tell Mr. Paladin you got shook and hid. Great, get us thrown out. That's what I get for cutting in one of my low-life friends. All right. Let's nail these two. He got me with a... Yeah, he got me with a tranquilizer dart. He must be... Yeah, he was carrying a bolt caster. Doesn't matter. Got more food than I know what to do with. Oh yeah, that spider bot is still alive up there in those vents. Doesn't particularly matter. It excellent. Maybe I should get regeneration instead of vision enhancement, just so I can turn my energy cells into health too, and turn repair bots into health. I just don't know. All three for the eyes are pretty good. So I'm putting off the decision of which one to grab. Anyway, let's head up this ladder. Let's go deal with that spider bot. Oh man. Shouldn't be too tough now that I have electrostatic discharge. I didn't think Alex was going to cooperate with mantling onto the edge, but I guess it never hurts to try. Let's try again. Oh heck, let's just make our jump at the edge, and then there shouldn't be any trouble at all. Coming this way now. And now it's disabled. Very straightforward. Yeah, that goes that goes down into the repair bot closet, which I don't care about. I also don't care about that. That's where the maintenance guy was, I believe. Now that I'm out here, we can head over these beams, get back to this vent, which will be done, be done, be done, which will get me into that office. Let's close the grate. Her holiness can burn in hell. Human purity used to be her motto. Now she waters it down for enclave types who don't belong in the church to begin with. Let go of the church. You are a Templar paladin now. I am grateful for your forbearance after I failed to kill the test subjects and Dr. Nassif. What you discovered could be more important. We now know that we face a network of scientists called Apostle Corps. It's hard to believe that they have agents inside the weapons lab. Probably sleepers. Your mag rail contract is secure. Still, I'm worried. We need to uproot this Apostle Corps before they compromise our modernization. I heard that the Grand Master will be ready to act within two months, but our army will need to be a match for all other armies combined. Now that they're done, I'll just rush in and take them out. Hey, how did you get in here? Has Hyalgar Chen met your new friend? I answer only to the Grand Master now, and I think I see in your eyes, yes, telltale signs of biomodification. So? So I've sworn an oath to exterminate the filers of the race. Ah, yes, the flames killed the Order Captain, which I don't want to do, so let's reload. 
When trying to sneak, be aware of the surface you're walking on. You make less noise on carpeting than on metal or concrete. Doesn't matter with run silent. <coughs> hey, how did you get in here? As Hyogre Chen, I am so. So I've. Show yourself! <laughs> Back to the main menu. Alright, well, it's obvious that the shotgun is much more dangerous to me particularly at close range like that, so... Hey, how did you get in here? It's I, I, so I will find you! There we go. Unconscious, unconscious. Much better. Shotgun and a flamethrower. I did still take a shot there, but it doesn't really matter. Now let's read the data cube. Intelligence brief. Colonel, your lordship. The new recruit, Lamar, determined loyal. Magrail contract endangered, however. Apostle Corps scientist Dr. Nassif made contact with Biolab director at Mako. Mako ballistics must be secured. My arrival to be delayed. My gratitude for the timely action to which is owed my liberation from jail. By Sidon, Templar Paladin Captain, Northwest USA, Harold Block. Good work. That gives us a good starting point for unraveling the conspiracy. Please return to the church for your next assignment. I would like to know what Mako Ballistics has to do with the Templars, and with your own Dr. Nassif. Goal complete. Order trader find evidence. Goal received. Order trader report to church. Primary goal, order trader, report to church. Order. Report to the order church and tell Chen what you discovered at the Inclinator. Oh, we got a couple more Templar recruits over here. Wasn't paying attention. That's enough. The zone seems to be clear now. That's enough. Just go ahead and prepare to meet your end. Sniper rifle and ammo. That one's just a recruit. Looks like he had a pistol and of course some ammo. No big deal on either count. All right. Hmm. Now, we're basically done. We have one more challenge in liberating Ava's jet, and we've got a lot of backtracking to do just to resolve every quest. So... Here's what I'm gonna do. First I'm gonna go to the Order Church. Get that done. We Jobs everywhere, that. but I'm wise to the ways. I suggest you manage your behavior wisely. Oh, people are still upset about the grenade I detonated in the coffee shop. So into the Order Church. We'll go chat with High Auger Chen again. You owe the 
this search for true order, not only to yourself, but also to your fellow humans. There is a far to be Alkafaya or collective... So, some of your people have been recruited by the Templars. Yes, and one of our best captains, too. The Templars appear to be assembling an army of mercenaries, and maybe those stories about Parisian gold are true. They seem to have very deep pockets. What's the connection to Mako? Those scientists at Tarsus Academy are part of an obscure group called Apostle Corps. They have a cell at Mako, which would concern the Templars because Mako is their main supplier of weapons. Maybe that's where Dr. Nassif is hiding out. Exactly. Your underlying mission will be to locate her. If perfected, the biomod architecture she gave you, being adaptable to any host, could bring biomodification to everyone and unbalance the very concept of the human being. But we have an additional favor to ask. Go on. The Templars have commissioned a new grade of firearm from Mako, the Mag Rail. The order very much opposes the creation of any new weapons. Your other objective will be to locate the scientist in charge and kill him. Won't Mako just hand the project to another scientist? An assassination will send a message and cost the firm money. We want you to hire a pilot in Lower Seattle and get moving as soon as possible. You can't get me a ride? The order is spiritually rich, but that doesn't buy many private jets. I think Sid Black might be waiting for you at Sucks Landing Pad. He would get the job done. Goal complete. Order trader report to church. As you can see, for all their high talk, the order can you be pretty cold-blooded too. To Wanting me to assassinate a scientist? Anyway, let's head back to the slums. Security bot, also known as the Bulldog, is small enough for use indoors and outdoors. Its riot shotgun makes it a strong deterrence force. When well, now I will head up the inclinator. Course requires more load zones. When a camera detects an intruder, it sounds an alarm, alerting guards and activating turrets. I don't think there are any Templars left in here. I did spot another vent, though, which I'd like to explore. Just to make sure there's nothing inside. Looks like there's not. Nope, just another way out there. We just have a few things left to do now. Let's resolve the coffee wars. We gotta get our reward, actually do the quest for the Queequeg's guy. Then we'll have to head back down to Lower Seattle to get his reward. And then finally come back to Upper Seattle to rescue Ava's chopper from the WTO air terminal and ultimately hire her as our pilot. I'll stop by Pequod's right quick just to collect my reward. The coffee's destroyed. Yeah? All of it? They'll have to replace the entire inventory. Good work, Tarsus man. Here's your compensation. I wonder what lucky corporations get to hire the Tarsus grads. I'm afraid the school keeps its industry contracts classified, even from us. I would expect as much, considering the hostile business climate. Anyone get hurt earlier tonight during the bombing, or whatever it was? Some scientists. It was more like a raid. Interesting. The Order doesn't usually get tangled up in corporate rivalries. Well, thanks for the credits. I better be going. Goal complete. Coffee Wars. Collect reward. Credits increased by 300. Only, only four goals left now. We won't be meeting Sid. We won't be killing the lawyer, Kevin O'Rourke. We will hack the zoning database, and we will rescue Ava's helicopter. Now I can expand into Lower Seattle without worrying too much about price point. It's ridiculous that anyone still buys low-tech quick Pacinos when they could have bio-enhanced drinks like ours. All right, let's head to the air terminal to hack the zoning database. Services. 
Tension between the WTO and the Order has been mounting. What began as friction and criticism has erupted into riots and armed attacks. They have me in the hangar on the lower level. Be prepared. I'm being guarded by a WTO security force. We're not dealing with Ava quite yet. We're doing the coffee war first. Just make sure we're out of sight. And get into the computer. Accept Queequeg's zoning application. Goal complete. Coffee Wars hack zoning database. Goal received. Coffee Wars collect reward. Secondary goal. Queequeg's. See the manager in Lower Seattle regarding a 300 credit payment for the zoning change. That's one thing about the WTO. Justice is swift. So we gotta head all the way back to Lower Seattle to get our get our reward. Which I will do. To the Inclinator! Head over here, we will head down the inclinator. I'm sorry if I'm not mustering my usual excitement. I won't lie to you, I'm a little bored. <laughs> but... Many weapons use electromagnetic pulse, EMP, which is used to disable bots and other electronic devices. Just have to slog through all this backtracking. Things get more interesting once we get to Mako Ballistics, which is coming up soon. That's the good news. Gotta head back to Heron's Loft. Another freaking map change. All right, let's talk to him. I took him. care of the zoning. It's for real, then? You came through? My lawyer just called a minute ago. I thought he was kidding. Now, what about the compensation? Oh, sure, sure. I might end up being the first Queequeg's manager ever to do business inside a WTO enclave. That's worth something. Here you go. Thanks. Good luck with the new branch. Credits increased by 300. Goal complete. Coffee wars collect reward. Well, the only thing left to do is rescue Ava. I can't wait to see what the regional office has to say. They told me it was impossible for us to go head-to-head -head with Pequods. Don't worry. If they trace this thing to you, I'll play like I never met you. Thanks for the help. You just turned the Seattle coffee business on its head. A lot of those uptown Phoebes are health nuts, I hear. All right. Back out to the Lower Seattle slums. No one has heard from J.C. Denton since he destroyed the Area 51 facility 20 years ago and brought about the collapse. Dumbest nickname I ever heard. Hang a right here. Head back to the Inclinator. This is it, though. We're done in Lower Seattle. And once we get through this load zone, it'll be our last time through the Inclinator.
head back out to Upper Seattle. Standard Security Corporation, SFC, provides security and law enforcement to cities and corporations worldwide. Well, good on them. Alright. Let's head back to the air terminal again. Well, this is our last time here, too, so wave goodbye to Upper Seattle. Since both groups now want us to go to Mako Ballistics. Of course, the WTO wants us to get the Mag Rail, and the Order wants us to assassinate the lead scientist. Those two are mutually exclusive. Hey. I already read this one. J.C. Denton agreed to join an AI construct known as Helios. That's the one I pick as my ending for Deus Ex 1. I guess you already know that if you watch the videos. Anyway, with that, we have the key code to the hangar now. So, let's go through a map change to a new area. Seattle's WTO charter was ratified one year ago to the dismay of many lower Seattle citizens. Upper Seattle has since prospered. WTO Air Terminal Hangar. Here we are. Restricted area. No surprise hey, there. Goal received. Pilot Ava, disable missile batteries. Disable the WTO terminal's ground-to-air missile batteries and then activate the pilot beacon. Alright. So as we head out here... This stuff at Tarsus today just proves my point. The order needs to be banned from WTO grounds. What about freedom of religion? That's no religion, that's a cult. They lure weak-minded people to their meetings and brainwash them into terrorists. Some of my friends go to those meetings and say they're not militaristic at all. It's all harmless mumbo-jumbo as far as I'm concerned. Did the attack on Tarsus seem harmless to you? These people are crazy. They need to be dealt with. Oh, time to light out! Uh-oh. Yep, that didn't work out. Let's try again. I do want to listen to the conversation, but... I obviously need to be more careful what I do after it's over. This stuff at Tarsus today just proves my point. The order needs to be banned from WTO grounds. What about freedom of religion? That's no religion, that's a cult. They lure weak-minded people to their meetings and brainwash them into terrorists. Some of my friends go to those meetings and say they're not militaristic at all. It's all harmless mumbo-jumbo as far as I'm concerned. Did the attack on Tarsus seem harmless to you? These people are crazy. They need to be dealt with. There goes the bot. Let's bag this guy, pull him back to the entrance. Looks like he dropped an ammo clip and a pistol. Ooh, and an EMP grenade. Let the other guard turn around. And do the same thing with her. Uh, 
Now I want to get the bot. Danger from all Electrostatic discharge is fun. Now she dropped a spider bomb, ammo, and a bolt caster. None of that is particularly useful to me either. You can see Ava's helicopter out there. All clear, I guess. I see another bot out there as well. Alright, disabled another bot. That takes care of one missile battery. Now disable the one in the other corner of the building. Might as well just go ahead and disable it, right? Key code or multi tool required. What's down here, I wonder? A guard. <sighs> These beams will release gas. Doesn't look like I have a really good way of dealing with them. There's a multi-tool. She had a shotgun and a concussion grenade. Before doing anything else, let's go head down the other ladder I saw. Control tower. We'll do that later. Pretty sure this is just the other end of that hallway. There is a data cube here. Air Terminal Security. In response to the recent spate of criminal activity, we're increasing restrictions on takeoffs and landings. We're also reprogramming the missile launch system. New codes attached. We cannot afford to have an inclinator disaster in Upper Seattle. Login WTO Air Terminal Hangar Security stored in Data Vault. Aha. Nothing in this one. Uh, let's pop out this side. See what we find. Oh, come on, Alex. Alright, good. Don't actually see anything. Let's explore this side of the helipad. No one has seen Her Holiness' face, not even the Order's next highest ranking official, High Augur Lin Mei Chen. And here I thought my electrostatic discharge would let me just handle that camera with no problems at all. Guess I'll have to go disable the turret first. Damage severe. Engaging auxiliary component. Goal complete. Pilot Ava disable missile batteries. Goal received. Pilot Ava activate beacon. Activate the pilot beacon in the WTO terminal control room. We got a couple of other things to do first. Let's check the main platform. I don't think there's anything out here. There's not. So let's... Two multi-tools to get in here. I wonder if it's worth it. Security computer. Which is 
now useless since everything's already handled. In addition, there's an ammo, two ammo clips, a med kit, and a data cube. Newest delivery. Check out last night's delivery. It's in one of the cargo storage rooms. Be sure you keep the canister out of sight until we find a buyer. The WTO would kick us out of the Enclave if they found out. And now they'll be even more strict about searches after the Inclinator mess. Interesting. Sounds like a Biomod canister. So let's check this area now. Damage sustained. Systems failing. These are just standard alarm lasers. Let's try another door. And lastly, we've got this door here in the middle. Key code or another multi-tool. We got a repair bot in here. And there's a concussion grenade. You have bioelectric systems. Feel free to access the station's functionality. And it looks like here we've got another black market biomod canister just simply requires the use of yet another multi-tool. Let's go ahead and upgrade electrostatic discharge. At level 3, maximum EMP damage and short-term scrambling of bots. Oh, there's the alarm laser. Don't want to do that, certainly. Let's go to this other storage room. WTO terminal hangar storage room. Yes, yes, we could have had keys. Multi tool here inside the vent. Up here, looks like we found the control tower. There's the pilot beacon. I'll turn it on in a moment. Good job. Hank, you're the unsung hero of the day. Your firmware upgrade to the pilot beacon came off without a hitch, a day early as usual. It allowed us a more nuanced engagement with regard to a non-responder that entered the airspace. Probably saved a life. Way to go. Larry Helms, facility supervisor. Whatever that weapon mod is. I'll burn a multi-tool to get it. Increased damage. Yeah, that's a good mod, I guess. Anyway, let's activate the beacon now. All set. Hop in, then let's get out of here. Goal complete. Pilot Ava activate beacon. Goal complete. Pilot Ava rescue helicopter. Goal received. Pilot Ava meet at helicopter. Primary goal. Meet Ava Johnson's copter at the WTO terminal. Expect to be deployed directly to your next location from there. Depart only when your business in Seattle is done. Yeah. Sounds like we got new bad guys. Our business in Seattle is done. One guy. I'm sure there are more than him, though. He dropped a shotgun, a concussion grenade, and ammo. I see at least one more guard right at the 
chopper. That one had a concussion grenade, an SMG, and an ammo clip. Lastly, let's get the one I saw actually up here. Oh, gee. <sighs> Make sure she didn't die from that little fall. All right, she dropped an EMP grenade and a flamethrower and another ammo clip. And we are done. Let's head to Mako Ballistics. Where to? The Mako facility north of town. Who do you work for? You mentioned a mission. I will take you to the facility. Realize, however, that I must minimize the danger to my helicopter. I can't provide air cover or take unnecessary risks. Risks that might jeopardize your mission, I presume. I can't reveal anything more. Be informed, however, that when I locate my passenger, you will have to hire another pilot. I guess I can't complain if you aren't charging me. Also, once I'm in the air, I'm not coming back to Seattle. I'm sure you understand. The authorities will be waiting for me. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. The pop star NG Resonance has hollow kiosks all over the world where her fans can talk to AI constructs resembling her. And... With our arrival at the Mako Ballistics Facility... I'll do a quick save, make another new permanent save, and we will call that a video. This has been Let's Play Deus Ex Invisible War. Next time, we will tackle Mako Ballistics. See you all then. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.